Okay, I'd like to show you one way of making a thumb throttle on your racing lawnmower or go-kart. This is what I've used on most of my lawn tractors. It's a piece of uh, 1 8 by 1 inch flat bar. This is 3 16 but you could use 1 8 or aluminum if you want. And I guess about six inches of it. Stick it in the vise here and grab it with a crescent here and bend it. I can show you how to do that. You want to make sure you get it bent the right way so that it doesn't bind when you push it on this flat bar here. I've just welded this onto the steering wheel there. It's about two and a quarter inches long. A quarter inch bolt through there. And you can put a washer between there if you want. Another quarter inch bolt here. And I use a nut on either side and then a little plastic bushing. And I just wrap the cable around with a cable clamp. And that seems to work pretty good. And then I have welded a little flat bar plate on here with a uh, little tab of steel and a bolt to clamp the cable and then you can I usually you can have this on either side I usually have it on the left side or on the right side but this one I put it on the left because I wanted to shift with my other hand without having to let go of the throttle so I'll show you how to bend this flat bar. Okay, this is how I bent the thumb throttle piece. Got a piece of uh, about 1 by 3 16 flat bar. You could use 1 8, I would use 1 8 or aluminum. Work good too. Get a crescent wrench like this. Have it on there about like that. You want to twist it counterclockwise. I had mine bent two and one eighth to the bottom of the crescent wrench for, to the end and leave about one I think one inch should be good there. You can play with that on how tight of a twist you want in there. Just twist it 90 degrees counterclockwise Oops. and there's your piece there you could drill you would drill in here and bend it Here's a closer view of the cable clamp on the steering wheel. And I hope that helps you build your own thumb throttle. Okay, now here's one way of hooking up your throttle cable to the carburetor. This is on a GXV 270 Honda. This is actually my cousin's motor. It's so let me try it out on here. I used to have an 8 horse Briggs on here. It was a little bit different throttle hookup, but this would work on there too. This may be a little bit crude, but it seems to work pretty good. Or this is actually what my cousin had on here too. Uh, just clamp the cable here with a little piece of flat bar and a washer and a piece of 1 8 rod stainless works best if you can find it because it's nice and stiff and then we just bent a loop on the end looped the cable through and crimped it with a little piece of steel I think it's actually electrical butt connector or something like that with the plastic shielding taken off just crimp that on there and on the Honda's all you got to do is bend a little 90 and stick it through the carburetor 
throttle shaft thing there and then a little piece of flat bar with a spring on the Briggs you could you'd probably have to bend a little S-curve type thing but here it works pretty good